Uh, what? Fedora is going to start supporting Mac OS? That's right. With a new announcement, the Fedora Asai Special Interest Group is now formed. The goal of the Special Interest Group is to help folks working on the support for ARM-based Apple Macintosh computers, otherwise known as Apple Silicon Macs. To help with this, SIG members will maintain packages related to support for Fedora Linux and work with the upstream Asai Linux project. We are also aiming to produce a Fedora Asai Remix in the near future. A preliminary version is available at fedoraasairemix.org and is where we'll publish official releases. This is wild. Fedora is now talking about making a remix version of Asai Linux, which is going to push Linux as a replacement for Mac OS and OS X, as other people know it, in the near future. With a massive community that knows about Fedora and might not necessarily know about Asai Linux, this is going to make a huge tick up in the amount of people using Linux on a Mac. I wonder how long this has been in the works with this wild post coming from Fedora and Acai Linux. Let's check out the Acai side of things and what does this mean for the future of Mac? We'll be answering more of these questions as free and open source comes to the MacBook. Even more information and announcement from Acai Linux, our new flagship distro Fedora Acai Remix. Interestingly enough, You've all been waiting for it. Many of you have guessed and now announced at the Flock to Fedora conference, it's time to make it official. The new Acai Linux flagship distribution will be Fedora Acai Remix. We're confident that the new flagship will get us much closer to our goal of a polished Linux experience of Apple Silicon, and we hope you will enjoy using it as much as we're enjoying working on it. We're still working out the kinks, making things even better so that we're not quite ready to call this a release yet. We aim to officially release Fedora Acai Remix by the end of August, 2023, very soon, which is incredible. Looking forward to many new features, machine support and more. I definitely wanna keep reading through here and talk about some of the community response about this news. We're gonna be checking it out, so make sure to keep watching, but this is big news. Again, I can't understate the fact that Fedora is going to bring in many more Linux users on the Mac because they have a huge following already. So many people use it, even the likes of Linus Torvalds uses Fedora Linux for development. And it's quite exciting to see this new dev with support from big names like Acai and Fedora. From the start of the Acai Linux project, our goal has been to bring full Linux support to Apple Silicon machines across all distributions. Supporting new hardware like this, especially hardware this special in relatively young embedded ARM64 desktop, Linux space is no easy task. It involves a huge amount of reverse engineering development and integration work, spanning all the way from the bootloaders to the desktop audio servers. As we all know, Apple is known to keep everything proprietary, not even giving hints of information on how their systems work. Everything's locked down, so yes, it's a huge task. Much of our initial work focused on the kernel and bootloaders, mainly of course, we expect that because how else do you get a system running, which can be shared between distros. But as we started reaching the point where kernel support was enough for a bare bones usable system, we still had a lot of distro integration work left. Making hardware work out of the box requires a bunch of subtle integration engineering and as well working together with user space level projects to improve them and add features we need for these systems. Seems like once they got past the initial booting of the machine, they had to focus more on even more massive parts, which is how the user interacts with the hardware. Our goal for all distros was eventually to integrate all this work so that users can use their choice of distro and be confident that it will work well on their machine. But in order to kick off this process, we had to prototype what integration looks like, which meant we had to create our own distro. So it doesn't look like SAE actually had the intentions of creating their own distribution from the beginning. They just wanted to prove that their project can be used with other Linux distributions and be packaged. That way, a distro can build for Apple Silicon. And so the Acai Linux Arch Linux ARM Remix was born. That was a mouthful. We took Arch Linux ARM, added our own overlay package repository, and packaged all of our integration work there. Notably, this full downstream project, we have no significant involvement with upstream Arch Linux ARM or Arch Linux, and we directly use Arch Linux ARM package repositories for core distro our overlay just adds integration scripts, bootloader components, extra user space support packages for things like audio and forked kernel and Meza packages. So to me, it sounds like they were mainly an integration for the hardware support. They didn't want to focus on supplying 
the software. This worked well to bring outside Linux out into the world of the eager hands of users, but it was but a step along the way to our ultimate goal. After all, maintaining bespoke downstream distro remixes is a chore, and we can't rely on an unofficial third-party support to bring our work to every distro. We've always had our sights on a deeper cooperation and with upstream distros to bring Apple Silicon support directly to them as an officially supported platform. And Arch ARM integration was mainly intended to serve as a reference for this. It didn't take long for some people to come knocking on our door. So then what happened? Well, you guessed it, Fedora reaches out very soon after ISIE Linux started, well before our Arch ARM based release. Neil Gompa joined our, our IRC channels and we started talking about working together, integrating our work into Fedora. This was our very first offer to officially collaborate with a major upstream distro and we were very excited. The Fedora Acai project started in late 2021, which has been going for quite a while now considering it is mid-2023 and work began in 2022 alongside the Arch Arm release. Over the following year, we worked closely with Fedora fully integrating Apple Silicon support into Fedora, including all of our custom packages, kernel and mesoforks, and the special image packaging requirements. And now we're finally on the final stretch before release. How exciting, not knowing that this was actually going on in the background is amazing. I am very excited to see how Acai and Fedora bring this to us, especially that they've been working on this for over two years now is an absolutely amazing feat. Upstream first, the Fedora ICE effort is upstream first, just like all of our other kernel and meso work, our bespoke tools like M1N1, low level bootloader and our ASAE scripts tools are already in upstream Fedora repositories available directly to all Fedora users, though they won't do much if you install them on a non-Apple machine. Meanwhile, our hardware enablement package forks are kept COPRs maintained by Fedora Acai SIG, built and served from the Fedora Infra. Collaborating with distro integration experts and using distro infra frees up to continue focusing on what we do best, reverse engineer hardware and develop bespoke drivers and software. But not only that, it, it also means we can offer an even better experience for Linux and Apple Silicon users. Working directly with upstream means not only that we can integrate more closely with the core distribution, but it also get issues in other packages fixed quickly and smoothly. This is particularly important for platforms like desktop ARM64, where we still run into random app and package bugs quite often. ARM64 support for Linux has been a niche platform until now, and much less testing comes with a higher propensity for bugs. So it's very important that we can address these issues quickly. Fedora already has a very solid, fully supported ARM64 port with large user base in the server headless segment, so it is excellent to build upon, help improve the state of desktop Linux ARM64 for everyone. They make a very good point that ARM64 is used in production environments, including server environments, where there are some benefits to using this architecture. So it's very interesting that Fedora has picked up with Acai Linux. Could it be that they want better support for ARM64? I could believe it. We're very happy to have this level of collaboration with Fedora and the Fedora folks have been absolutely amazing team throughout the whole effort. We want to thank David Kavalka, Eric Curtin, Leif Liddy, Neil Gompa, and Michael Alexandre Salim for kicking off the Acai SIG and making this all possible. Finally, racing to the finish line. Let's read through this before I talk about some of the overall community sentiment regarding this news of Fedora Acai Remix coming to Fedora Linux. For Apple Silicon, we still have a lot of work to do, including integrating even more packages and for new hardware support and more adventurous users can try out the Fedora Acai Remix today. That's right. You can check it out today. I'll post a link in the description below so you can check it out, but please expect rough spots or even complete breakage. We're still very much in the, in the process of integrating everything with a bunch of new features that are coming and things are expected to break while everything is getting in shape. Please keep in mind that if you choose to try ahead of time, we ask the reporters and bloggers to wait for the official release before evaluating our work. We hope you enjoy our efforts and time for our first Fedora Acai Remix release. You may be wondering what new features are coming, but we'll have to keep that a secret, just like they did with this whole entire thing. Stuff isn't even integrated yet. You're not going to get a sneak peek even 
if you install early. Until then, please hang tight and look forward to the release. So is the community looking forward to this new flagship distro? Overall, it looks like we have a positive reception to this new news. Community members are expressing excitement for Fedora Acai Remix as it will provide an alternative with a well-known distro Fedora to the Apple Silicon based systems. Few have made mention of why Arch didn't step up to provide the same support as Fedora. And I believe they probably did. As was mentioned in this article, it was kind of a stepping stone in order to get it to Fedora. So I imagine there was collaborative efforts from the Arch Linux team. Some people don't want Acai Linux to stop developing their own distro, but I don't think we have a choice here as They've made it clear that that was never the intention. They didn't want to make a distribution. They wanted to make the hardware work with the user space. And that's what they did, including making things like GPU acceleration work as early as around six months ago. There's definitely been some questions about dual booting and whether or not that there has been any progress on that as far as the Fedora Acai remix side goes. Will there be dual booting? Definitely people thinking that's going to be necessary whenever this remix comes out as there's going to be things that don't work on the remix and they'll need to go over to the Mac OS side. And finally, there's been talks about legal implications from the community. What does this look like from the Apple side of things? We doesn't look like there's been any issues from the Acai Linux side and they've been in development for a few years now. We'll see how things end up with that. That's of course all speculative, so I won't talk much about that. We'll definitely see how things play out here in the Acai Linux Fedora Remix. I'm excited to check it out. Hopefully you are too. Let me know what you think about this entire project, including the news before you. I can't wait to hear about it in the comments section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.